the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We come to praise the Lord in this place. We come to say thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. If you're happy to be alive, say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're happy to be in the land of the living, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're happy to have breath in your lungs, hallelujah. If you're happy to have breath, period, hallelujah. Say amen. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. Don't be shy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We come to glorify the Lord today and every day that we have breath in our voice. We come to glorify the Most High. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm Dr. Lord myself. Thank you so much for joining us. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank the Lord for you this day and every day. We thank the Lord for our families. Thank you, Lord, for our families, wherever they are, sons and daughters. We thank the Lord for them. Where would we be without our spouses? Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for them. I thank the Lord for Martin. Hallelujah, my guardian angel. In the name of Jesus, I thank the Lord for my children, my grandchildren, my all my family, brothers and sisters. I thank the Lord for my customers. Hallelujah, because I love my customers. They support me. They come sometimes. They don't come, but I'm always happy to see them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Today, today's message is called Cry Out. Cry Out. Okay? Cry Out. In the face of danger, what do you do? What do you what do you have to do in the face of danger? Cry out. Are people crying out today, these days? Beloved, not so many people are crying out. A lot of people are very silent. Now it takes courage to cry out. Because when you cry out, what could happen? If you cry out, if somebody is attacking you and you cry out, okay? People feel afraid to cry out. If you get an abused, if you are in an abusive relationship, you gotta cry out. But instead, a lot of people stay silent because they are afraid to cry out. So today I'm here to encourage you to cry out, especially when you feel pain. If you're feeling some pain somewhere, don't keep it inside. If you're feeling some pain in your mind, in your brain, in your foot, in your leg, in your abdomen. You don't want to cry out because you're ashamed sometimes, afraid to cry out. What about pain in your tooth? Maybe it's a toothache. What do you got to do? Cry out. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. The Bible says that the Lord did not give you a spirit of fear. You're not supposed to be afraid of nothing. But he gave you a spirit of love and power and of a sound mind. So that means that when you are paid somewhere, you better cry out. Now, what will happen if you don't cry out? If you don't cry out, the people will think that it's okay to hurt you. If you don't cry out, the people who have hurt in you will think, oh, they like it. They are right with that pain. Let me do it some more. No, beloved, you have to use your voice or lose your voice. You have to cry out in a loud voice. Now, when somebody cries out, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to ignore them? No. If somebody cries out, you are supposed to jump into action as a Christian. However, a lot of people are not doing that. And so a lot of our brothers and sisters are being lost by the wayside. Now the Holy Spirit wants you to know that you gotta cry out. If you want the Holy Spirit to be with you, you want some power, you wanna walk with the Holy Spirit, you gotta cry out. If something is bothering you in your sleep, when you're sleeping in the night, cry out, okay? If you're in pain, cry out, beloved. Now what would happen if you don't? The people will continue to attack, they will keep on coming, okay? So recently, I heard about a story 
about a young lady who was attacked on the bus, okay? So this is right here in our hometown of Southeast Queens, okay? And I'm actively looking to do something about it because it hurts me that the kids are not feeling safe in their schools, okay? A lot of our kids are being jumped and some of them are crying out, but a lot of them are not saying anything because there's like a code, okay? They don't want to be known as a, like a snitch. And sometimes kids, sometimes kids unfortunately die because they didn't say anything. Do you want to be like one of those that go down to the grave because you didn't cry out, because you didn't say nothing, okay? Why, why, why would you do that to your family? Cry out the minute you feel pain, the minute you feel insulted even. Say something, beloved. Why? Ask the question, why? Why are you doing this? Let's talk about it. You say stuff like, can we talk about it? Can we go to counseling? I need counseling. Stuff like that, you say, I need some counseling. I need some therapy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you say something. You see something, you say something. So the young lady that was on the bus, she got, she was about to get jumped and she ran onto the bus for help. And you know, these teenagers these days, they're used to us not saying anything. Well, when I say us, I don't mean me because I say something. I don't care where I am, I open my mouth and I say something. I remember saying one time, on a bus, a crowded bus a, a long time ago, they were cussing and carrying on, uh, nasty. And I said, I know your mom. Mm-hmm. And they stopped. Beloved, you gotta say something. I know you might be afraid because you might get beat down. You gotta say something, you gotta do something. You gotta open up your mouth and say something, beloved. You might save a life, beloved. Maybe your own life, maybe a child's life somebody's lives. So, you know, I'm all about saving lives, okay? And I'm encouraging you to do whatever it takes to save somebody's lives. Save somebody's life here today, going forward. The young lady got on the bus and she cried out. Not many adults on that bus helped her because they're all afraid to cry out, to say something, to protect a child. It's a sad day when adults are so coward, coward, okay? Because you see, it takes courage to cry out. It takes courage to say something in the face of adversity. People these days, they don't want nobody to tell them anything. And people are afraid for their lives. But beloved, God didn't call you to just be a coward. God called you to be a conqueror, to be more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. So say something. So eventually the, the, um, her, her attackers, all the kids, they ran, she ran onto the bus for help. And they run up on the bus right after the young lady because they don't care anything because they used to adults not saying anything, not being in their rightful position as an adult, you know, it's very tough out there for the teenagers, okay? They, they out there smoking a lot of weed and carrying on and drinking and nobody is saying anything. Beloved, I came to implore you today to open up your mouth and to say something when you see abuse. You can say it kindly, beloved, nicely with a smile. Let them know that it's, 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 it's about love, okay? And if they take it the wrong way, hey, you smile and say, have a blessed day, okay? Now, beloved, you know, another time there was a young lady, um, yeah, she was getting beat down, jumped again, in the same vicinity of where this same young lady got, uh, was being jumped on the bus, okay? The cops did come and they, you know, broke it up and everything, but the, the kids following her didn't care. Now, a block off, about three months, um, maybe six months ago, I noticed from Hillcrest High School, that area up there, that's um, over uh, like Hillside and Parsons area. It's a hot spot. 
for kids being jumped, bullied, beat down, okay? I know there's a little child, a young lady, not a little child, a little child to me, but a young lady, I noticed that they, they jumped her, okay? And I saw it, okay? So I just put my car in park, okay? Right there in the middle of the road, and I jumped out. And I start telling, yelling, stop, stop. And they started to move. Sometimes for love, it, it just takes a little courage. It just take a little bit of you opening your mouth and saying something so you can save a life. So today I want to read to you Psalm 5 because Psalm, Psalm 5 is going to give you some courage so that you can speak out. Now, beloved, you might be depressed. Wherever you are, you might know someone that's depressed. And when some people are depressed, the last thing they do is cry out. And so the depression continues. It gets worse, beloved. Or even abuse, abuse in homes. So a lot of that going on. And it gets worse because nobody is crying out. They're afraid. Is that you, beloved, that might be abused and afraid or depressed and afraid to ask for help, to call somebody and cry out? Beloved, don't be afraid because God got you. Here's what God has to say. Psalm 5. Praise ye the Lord. Okay. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give ear to my words. Hear me now, Lord. Let consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My vow, my voice shall thou hear in the morning, every day. O oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayers unto you, and I will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in your sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. You will destroy them that speak. Listen. The Lord shall abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship towards thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in my righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. Make your way straight before my face so I can see where I'm going, Lord. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth their inward part is wickedness. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy them, Lord, O oh God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out into the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against you, Lord. But let all those that put their trust in you rejoice. Rejoice, let them shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name, Lord, be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, will thou compass him as with a shield. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Beloved, there is reward when you cry out. If you are in pain and if you are depressed, there's a reward if you can cry out. You gotta cry out to the Lord. You gotta open up your mouth and cry out. Face the east and lift your hands. Hallelujah, your right hand. Okay, you could even put your right hand on your heart and you gotta cry out. Lord, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I need you, Lord. There's no shame in my game. Holy Spirit, come now, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. 
I feel like I'm an encir encircled. Hallelujah. Mm. I need you, Lord. Father God, I ask you to help these teenagers, these young people, these youth that need you, oh Lord God. Because maybe mommy and daddy is busy, distracted, working hard, whatever. Not at home. And they have nobody. Father God, I ask you to save our children, our children's children, our youth. Father God, some of them are being abused, oh Lord God. Father God, send help now, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Yahweh, Yahweh. Holy Spirit, I ask you to heal the sick, the sick and the lonely, the widows, oh Lord God, the fatherless, oh Lord God, the orphans, oh Lord God. Father, help us, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, make way, make way, make way. The King of Glory is coming to your rescue. The King of Glory is coming. He's coming through, beloved. Open your door. Open your mouth, beloved. And cry out to him so he can know you need help. Open your mouth, beloved. When you see people being destroyed, jumped, pull over for no reason, open up your mouth, beloved, and say something, beloved. Save a life, beloved. Beloved, when you see people you know, this is a hot topic, okay? But there's people out there who are drinking a lot of alcohol, smoking a lot, a lot, a lot of weed, cigarettes, doing drugs. And guess what? There's nobody saying nothing to them. Beloved, you are your brother's keeper. You got to warn your brother, your sister. You have to say it nicely. Beloved, you know the cigarettes could kill you, right? It could block your arteries and you could just drop. Did you know that, beloved? Why won't you stop? How about counseling, beloved? Maybe your central nervous system is, is um, shocked, you know, to the point where you feel like you need something, comfort. A lot of people need comforting. Beloved, you can always call me, okay? I'm here. Hallelujah. I'm here for you. I'm here to comfort you when you need someone to talk to. You can call, all right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, be that friend, that mentor that that young person needs. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy to help somebody. It is your business. Don't be afraid. You know, I went into Con Edison and I noticed the lady over there had a big pack of Newports, big pack of cigarettes right next to her. So I said with a smile, beloved, won't you think about giving up the cigarettes? She was kind of nasty, she said. No, I won't stop. I said, okay, beloved, well, at least I warned you, okay? It can kill you. And you can say it with a smile, but you gotta say something. What about the soda and the beer? A lot of alcohol. There's some people using recreational drugs. What about the vaping? You can say something, beloved. You can say it in a nice way. Vaping can kill. It destroys your lungs. So does the cigarettes. Come on now, say something. Say nicely, okay? Now, I'm not telling you to go like me and try to break up no fight because, you know, that could cause death, okay? And I salute Akeem Joseph because he, 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 he saw his brother being beaten down on the side of the road, okay? And he didn't keep on going, you know, he went over there and he tried to stop the fight. But beloved, he lost his life. So what I'm saying is, you have to be mindful, okay? If two grown men is fighting, beloved, you don't wanna get in there to try to break that up, but you can stand from the side and call the police and say, you can say, stop it or something, you know? 
You can say a prayer right there and then. But beloved, we need your voice. The kingdom, the Lord needs you to take action and to help somebody. Not just to walk away in silence and say nothing. Beloved, they say that the coward are silent. That's what they say. Because they're afraid to speak up. They're afraid to say anything about anything. If you're depressed, get some counseling. If you're feeling you know, like you're suffering in a relationship, get some counseling. Don't wait to get the counseling. Don't wait. Like, get it today, tomorrow, call, get it. Schedule it, okay? Because it just might save your life. It will aid in longevity. So, beloved, today, my message, the Lord's message, is to cry out. The Lord won't know that you need him right now if you don't cry out. He won't know. He will think it's okay. She's doing all right because the Lord is busy. Trillions of people calling on his name all day long. Beloved, don't stay silent lest you go down into the grave. Beloved, speak up in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what they think of you. It doesn't matter who, you know, feels that, you know, you should just shut up and be quiet. Beloved, you have needs. God wants to meet those needs. He said, I shall supply, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. So beloved, cry out, speak up, save a life, admonish someone, when, warn them, let them know when you see them doing wrong, going wrong, okay? When you see the teens out there, you know, acting up and carrying on, Sometimes it's a cry for help, not just for you to ignore them, okay? So this is the message today. I also want to remind you that Psalm 64 is a wonderful psalm that, you know, I hope that you can read it, okay? Now, beloved, I want you to take action today. You see, I have a new book. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so my new book is called Cheat, Death, and Live. It's a guide to spiritual, physical, plant medicine that will keep you alive in the name of Jesus. Beloved, I'd like for you to pre-order the book by sending me a message on social media, coming by the juice bar, and just sign up to pre-order this book because together, you and I, we're gonna save millions of lives in the name of Jesus. So if you believe in me, if you believe in this message, if you believe in the Lord, beloved, take action. Speak up, call me, get in touch with me, and tell me, save me a copy of that book, because together, I see us saving lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you can go to my profile on Instagram. Please follow us. Press that subscribe button. Thank you.